Hello, welcome to a big video of emulation glitches and bugs I run into whilst preparing to create this Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie. Here's this <laughs> it's an emulation called 1964, which doesn't work so well. Um, Fraps counters freaking out in the corner. Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. The best part is still to come. Okay. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, Dex. Here it comes. Oh, the the frame, the the oh, audio is so far ahead of the game. Oh god! What? <laughs> it's so slow. Okay, this is Nemu 08, which this looks fine, right? This looks pretty good. Uh huh. Uh oh. 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 Um. What? Uh oh. What? I can't. I said that only happens when you go underwater on this specific. I don't know what the fuck. On this specific emulator, oh, that only happens when you go underwater. So that one's not. Huh. Can't work with that one. It's Project 64 1.6. What? Something's a little off here. Banjo. And his banjo. It, the the bowl. Look at the balls. Oh my god, what? Look at Tootie's eyes. <laughs> it's Lady Gaga. <laughs> so this this current Project 64 that I'm using to record the game. There's a really weird glitch that happens only in this specific part of the game. So if I come over here. And I do a backflip. What? 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 You son of a bitch! <laughs> yes! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Welcome to Patrick doing nuts and bolts. You. You motherfucker! <laughs> this is. For the record, he did not tell me about any of this. <laughs> I haven't told anybody. I've literally told nobody. I've kept this a secret from everyone except myself. <sighs> oh, this is Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. You motherfucker! Exclusively released for the Xbox 360. Was supposed to be, was touted as, the follow up to Banjo Tooie. But, I mean, myself and several other people included refuse to regard it as such. This video is mainly going to be highlighting how fucking slow the opening of this game is. Dex, I hate you. <laughs> you rused me. I did. I'm very proud of myself. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Be honest with me, is there any way, other way you would have agreed to do this? No. Exactly. And we had to get this game in here, because we're doing every Banjo game. I did reference fucking Kaz Banjo Kazooie. You did. This is DJ Jam Jars. I thought he said fat and used up. I was like, eh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's kind of true. These chubby models are kind of incredible. Like, there's a lot about the game that's sort of neat, but then just... Yeah. <sighs> look, look at what's... This is all that's left of Grunty after Banjo-Tooie. <laughs> it's a head. Look at all that Xbox 360 advertising, look at it. Oh look, there's Z64 there, you see it? No, I couldn't see it over the fat! See the game. You can't jump very high, you can't oh, run very fast. Sake. Oh, this is faster than the walrus, by the way. It looks it anyway. 
she's forgotten how to talent draw. How the hell is that possible? Why was it so hard to just 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 make this? Except good, and not fatties. It look like doesn't it look great as well? Like wouldn't you yeah. love to be running around this collecting jiggies, gingers, musical notes? Oh man, she's thrown down. Mm -hmm. Oh man, oh what's going to happen? Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> that is Comic Sans. Yes. <sighs> He's the character that fucks the whole game up. They are the the called the Lord of Games. <laughs> oh, the little, oh. little self reference there to past Microsoft Rare collaborations that didn't do so well. Oh, oh, oh no. Wait, where'd you kazoo? Oh. It's not like that hasn't happened before. No. It's, it, that's fine for for Banjo, but Grunty's probably not too comfortable with it. Yeah, true. In line with Banjo tradition, your challenge will consist of collecting... Mmm. Yes. This is definitely representative of past Banjo games. This is definitely exactly what it is like. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 it's too painful to watch. Gamers today don't want all this, they just want to shoot things. A lot of games there with the insight into thousands upon thousands of people's minds. You know, it's exactly what we all want, Vile, and what we all want is just to shoot some shit. That Italian gentleman. Comparing Banjo and Kazooie to Mario, it's like... I don't know, it's, it's, that, would, that would be like comparing any... Like any fictional character to Jesus. <laughs> what, are you calling Jesus fictional? No, I'm just saying. Like, how fucking well known is Jesus? And that's how Grunty gets the body back in this game. It's a robot. It's a robot. Robot body. And they ask for their previous game. You only need knows they were rather outdated. Those game mechanics that were held up all these years were rather outdated, Vile. So instead, let's drive some fucking cars. Comedy. Yay. And this is the point in the, when you're actually playing the game when you realize where you're like, oh yeah, this, this is a joke, right? I mean, I'm not actually going to drive vehicles the, the whole the whole game. R right? Who actually, and now that I'm thinking about it, has I've never heard of anyone who's actually finished this game. I have. Have you? Yeah. The fuck's wrong with you? I I wanted to see what happened. Would you What's... like to know? Would you like to know what happens? Yes. What happens is right at the end of the game. Uh, the log L O G guy gives Banjo and Kazooie all their moves back. At the end of the game. 
plonks down this big fucking box full of like it's got the shock drum, jump spring pad, the flight pad, musical note, jiggy, egg, feather, golf feather, bunch of stuff like that in it. Mm -hmm. And that's at the end, that's in the final cutscene. At the very end of that game. It's literally just... Hey, you guys played this whole game of racing. Ha 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 ha. What Weren't you stupid? Yeah. Yeah, it's literally a slap in the face. I can't think of any other way they could have fucking made it out, like, other than a slap it in the face. Well, that is what this whole game is. It's just a slap in the face to anybody who remembers these games from, you know, like me, from their childhood. Going like, oh, hey, all that shit that you liked doing in the other game is that outdated as fuck. You don't want to do that anymore. When actually it's completely opposite. Yeah, Kazooie's only function in this whole game is holding this stupid wrench. I'm not joking. That's all she gets to do is hold the wrench. What is that? You'll see. Does stuff. Pedals? Yes, that's pedals. Yes, classic Scooby Doo sound effect. I'm dying right now. This, th this I mean, has, at, this is killing beginning, me. At the beginning, they were like, "Oh, well, the game is these days," so they just want to shoot things, so implying this game is meant to be. Oh, this is what Kazooie does. This is all she gets to do. Kazooie might as well hang herself. Basically. Um, they're like, oh, this, so this is... You get the impression, like, oh, so this would be for, like, more... Uh, like, older gamers? But then, then they do that Saturday morning cartoon shit, and you're like, well, who the fuck is it for, then? It's not... This game isn't for like, the old Banjo fans. It's not for older gamers. It's basically for children who don't know what Banjo-Kazooie is. That's what this game. That's who this game is for. It's for people who don't know what this game is. So this also, is the, this is the vehicle part list. These are all the materials you can build your vehicles out of. That's the basic set you get. You get, you get those cubes. You put them in the Mumbo Square, and you unlock more parts to build better, bigger vehicles. What were you going to say? I'm sorry. I uh, No, Dex. I'm sorry that you had to play this. It even has the fucking music! Yeah, I'm, the, the thing about this music... The, the thing about this game that really fucking gets me is that the music is incredible. It's just really well reorchestrated pieces from the past two Banjo games. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. <laughs> so, it's like... It, it's like the game is literally constantly laughing at me. <laughs> like, hey, you remember how great these the past two games were? Well, this is not that. This is what it is. Listen good. Try now placed. Probably need wheels next. Trolley. This is painful. This is the game. This is it. You, you make... Vehicles, they, they hold your hand all the way through this construction. They give you no room for creativity. Like, you must put these parts in this place. And if you do it wrong, then he's like... Well, I don't even think you can do it wrong. Vehicle constructing, and then taking the vehicle out into the world and driving it. Now, start playing game, nice pad, try, exit, arch. Did he even tell you how to get out? Like, you can't, I couldn't have figured that out. The place called exit arch was the way to get out. Uh. That load time. This is not oh edited. God. Why I didn't did not you edit, edit this? 
I should have, but I was like, I'm going to leave this in so that people know how fucking... It's not quite Sonic 06 bad, but it's still pretty bad. Okay, so the trolley is upside down, so we gotta flip it over. We did it. Press Y button. See, like, at this point, I just, I've stopped giving a shit, and I'm just skipping past everything he's saying. So this is the hub world, showdown town. Oh, also, there are actual music that you can actually still collect musical notes. Like, the main aim of the game is still collecting... Jiggies. I forget exactly what the musical notes do. I think you just. I think they're current. I think they're currency. I'm pretty confident that they're currency now I say it. But you still gotta collect jiggies, but the way you collect them is really, really weird. You'll see it in a minute after this big, elaborate camera pan is fucking done. Yes, we get it. We have to go up. Yes, yes, we get it. We. We. Oh my god. We get it. Just in we case. We know where to go. Okay. And then and then they even show us on the map where to go. There's even like there's a mini map, there's a marker showing you where to fucking How could you get lost? How could you get anyway? Be really, really stupid. Yeah. The blue bar around the mini-map is our speedometer. As you can see, our top speed is not exactly very fast. Because it's just a fucking trolley. So, uh, you gonna go shopping? Put some, no. put some groceries in your trolley? Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember what I'd do. Maybe, oh, maybe Banjo I remember what goes can in... say... Maybe Banjo can just look at Grunty and go, You know what? Fuck it. Fuck and this. then, like, instead of doing anything... And here, in a, in a you can bid just help to try, old ladies. Right there in a bid to try and like reclaim some of the old feeling, a guy out of the trolley and jumped up there to get the musical notes. <laughs> it didn't help. Listen to the music. How great is that? What? The music is awesome. That's the only redeeming quality of this game, is that the music is great. I found the soundtrack online. I will not, uh, I'm not afraid to, or ashamed to admit that I did just download the soundtrack for free. I couldn't even find it, a place to buy it. Um, I would recommend downloading the soundtrack if you're into banjo games, because it is actually pretty good. It's mostly all just medleys for the past two. Oh yeah, this is great. There's no way to slow down, you just have to hold the brake. Otherwise you just go careening out the other side. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, great. Uh, there's a warp. <sighs> yeah. And just... So we take... The way you unlock worlds is you... You take this globe thing. Right? You take this globe. And you put it over here. On that thing. And that thing comes out. And then the world's... Open up. Though what's really weird is that like each world is split up into like segments. What? So each world only contains like so many. Each segment of each world only contains like so many jiggies, and you have to get enough to go to the next bit. It's really weird. As you can see here, I'm just skimming through. It's like, fuck this. I'm I don't care. Dex, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Yeah. Are you ready for complete honesty time? I don't know what I'm doing here. I have two screens right now. Yeah. One of them... One of them is this Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts bullshit. <laughs> and the other yes. one is the ending to Metal Gear Solid 4. Wow. That's pretty polarizing. I don't know what I was doing here. <laughs> That's pretty poetic. That's pretty polarizing, but yes, all for free. I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, also, this is like a move you can do for no reason. You'll never fucking use it. Fairly reminiscent of old shit you could do in the old Banjo games, but that's it. That's all you're getting. Um, 
I don't know what I was doing when I picked up that Mumbo Crate. I like, I picked it up and was gonna, I was going to take it to the square and put it down. And then I went, what am I doing? And put it down. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Okay, so we guess So we had the really long intro to the game and how the mechanics worked. Now here's a really long intro to the level, which you can skip, but it just goes on so long. Mumbo Jumbo is a farmer. Every character in every level has like a different role. Like they take on characters. Like characters take on characters. I don't know how that works. This humble Wumba. Wumba's long suffering wife. Which doesn't make any fucking sense. Mr. Fit? Yeah, he's new. And so is he. Yeah, okay. Because he doesn't look like... Okay. What does he not look like? No, don't worry about it. Okay. Load time! Oh, there it goes. It's fine. This is where they grow toughest, toughest, most resilient coconuts. Resilient Why coconut? would you want a tough, resilient coconut? <laughs> As you can see, I'm getting pretty fed up here. So, this is Nutty Acres. We won't be exploring any of Nutty Acres. We're done here. What do you mean, we're okay. done? Okay. We're done here. We're going to drive into the ocean and end it all. Banjo's had a good long life. He had a, a bunch of very, very good games. But this is this is ultimately where his career ends. He's been killed. You did this, Microsoft. You've killed him. You did this. Whoa. This is how he's going out. You did this to him. You did this to me. You did this to everybody else who liked these games. And this is how it's going down. Slowly wow. and painfully snuffing out the light of my childhood. Forever. The end. That's it. Goodbye. What the fuck is happening, dude? Good night, sweet prince. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on, no. Just getting a little slap around the face is enough to wake up from asphyxiation. Nothing can... We, the nothing we can do can can let us escape from this hell. What? We literally, we're trapped. This is like purgatory. What? Really? We're stuck. Yeah, we're stuck. We can't die. There's, there's clearly a bar there for air. Why even have it there if you can't drown? What's the point? What is the point, I ask you? Please, somebody tell me what the point of that is. Dex, do you need to sit down and just have a deep breath about and think about what you've done in your life for a minute here? Because I'll wait. No. No, what? This is it. This is it. This is it. At least it's a big world that looks beautiful. It's a big. It's a big, nice-looking world. At least we can. I just, just no. Why did you do this? This isn't what anybody wanted. No one wanted this. Nobody wants this. This could have been so amazing. It looks so good. You can't even Graphically. kill yourself. Graphically, it looks good. So fuck it. Fuck this. I'm gonna... Through... Through the magic of using the Xbox Wait, gamepad, what? I'm going to express how I feel. What? Wait! 
Wait. Fuck you. I'm expressing how I feel. Fuck this game. Turn off console. All right. Well, Dex. All I can say is at least it can't get. Oh God! God no! Oh no! <laughs> God no. damn it! Why did it turn it off? It got worse. Oh,